My name is Julia Poacromero. I am a member of the class of 2017 and hold an MDiv from Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary. During my time in seminary, I was a recipient of the Heary Family's Chaplaincy Internship Scholarship. Post-graduation, I served in the local church for two years and am now serving as the Assistant Chaplain of McMurray University, located here in Abilene, Texas. I'm a 1.5 generation Guatemalan immigrant, and I'm also a member of MARCHA, which is the National Hispanic and Latina Caucus of the, of the United Methodist Church. For me, public theology and ministry have taken on multiple routes during this season of social distancing and quarantine. Serving as a university chaplain, it puts me in contact with other college and university chaplains in a national association that connects us across various interfaith traditions. I'm also constantly amazed by my fellow alumni who are local church clergy who also have some format of college ministries happening within their midst. When I think back to my courses in seminary, the ones I have been relying on the most are my Doctrine of God class with Dr. Stephen Ray and my Christology class with Dr. Ann Joe. Dr. Stephen Ray would make us constantly wrestle with our concepts and understandings of what does grief and suffering mean in the midst of our world and our understanding of God. He once said, theology is taking our experience by, and giving voice to something that authenticates and communicates what is our joy and our passion. What stood out most about Dr. Ann Joe's class was the emphasis of how we interpret and understand Christ. And she did it by naming the human complexities and human experiences that Dr. Ray would also mention in his Doctrine of God class. And it would be through the lens of social justice issues. Some of these issues were xenophobia, homophobia, transphobia, racism, and classism. All of these being parts of our human experience in our different communities that create our interpretation of Christ and our image of Christ. As I watch my colleagues in colleges and universities bring about new virtual ways to keep in touch with our digital native students. I also hear about how they are using their positions to advocate for the most vulnerable in the midst of this pandemic. You see, part of our work does include talking and working with the grief and suffering of our staff and faculty, but also means being part of that advocating team with residence life and housing staff here in our colleges and universities. Many of these staff members have pulled 80 hours or more a week within the last month trying to make sure everything runs as smoothly as possible. And when I mention the most vulnerable, I'm talking about students that are part of the LGBTQ community that have been rejected by their families, International students primarily are Asian international students, students who come from abusive and complex family homes, and students that are located in our U.S.-Mexico border towns. It puts us in a unique space when the ministry of being a college chaplain already means being in a faith walk with students who are asking the questions of, is God even real? If God is so good, then why is God letting bad things happen? Collectively, the words I have heard from my students and the words that many of my colleagues also voice from their students are these. I feel anxious about. I'm worried about. I'm overwhelmed. I'm exhausted. It is a, it's a feeling that most of us generally feel during this time. And as the season continues to unfold, the call and witness of ministry does mean creating resources for virtual devotions, virtual chapel, and other outlets. But it also means making sure to pay constant attention to the students and the ones that are voicing their grief and their suffering and in need of someone to look at them and see them and hear them. Maintaining ways of constantly helping create community and build relationships with students is crucial in this time. 
I want to finish with a quote from one of my favorite Mujerista theologians, Gloria Anzandula. Though we tremble before uncertain futures, may we meet illness, death, and adversity with strength that we may dance in the face of our fears. Bendiciones en la lucha. Blessings on the journey.